introverted guys, how did you meet your girlfriend? Before we start with the first story, please hit a subscribe and ring the notification bell to stay updated with us. Story 1. Through my realtor. I was basically single for the first 32 years of my life. Decided I wanted to buy a house and met my realtor at a random open house. It took me two years looking off and on. Before I put in an offer by the end of it, my realtor said she just helped a single girl buy a house and wanted to set us up on a blind date. Four years later, we've now been married for 1.5 years, and our realtor was our efficient. Life is weird. Story 2. My fiancé is super introverted, but his parents are extroverts, and I work with them both. The first thing out of his mom's mouth was, You should meet my son. He's cute. He came to our site for lunch with them every Wednesday, and they invited me weekly for months, and he would just sit there. While the three of us talked. Then finally one day I was telling his dad I was going to trivia with my friends, and he said his son would love to go, and I remember saying, uh, really? He would? But he came. So that was over five years ago and now we're getting hitched. Story 3. She walked up to me at a Halloween dance put on as a joint venture between our university anime club and the alternative religion kids. She walked up to me and opened the conversation with, you're cute, we're gonna dance now. That will be 20 years ago on October 23rd. I only remember the exact date because I researched it and had the star pattern overhead that night etched into the box for the ring I proposed with. Story 4. I trained her at work doing patient transfer. Even if you're introverted 12-hour shifts in a pair for 5 days is a good way to get to know each other. Reply. That's how I got to know some of my best friends. It doesn't matter how introverted you are. You're going to become good friends with someone when you're the only people working for long periods. Story 5. Made a very clumsy dating profile. She liked my pics, not only because of my face but also because I didn't shy away from showing some hobbies. She read my poor, tactless text and thought, this is either a dumb jerk or he's autistic. Combined with the pictures, I'd say autistic and nerdy. Could be my type. Now we're married with our own property, two doggies and expecting a baby. Story 6. I started working out and doing cosplays alone. Six months after that I got the courage to go to a Comic-Con with my cosplay. Took a photo in the event. She found my post and liked it. She direct messaged me, saying she found me cute. We started talking. And like a month later we started dating. Story 7. Met her at the gym. We met. She suddenly started showing up right around the same time to do cardio with me because it makes the time go by faster. After several weeks of this, she finally said, Are you going to ask me out, or what? And we've been married for going on 30 years. I'd be single to this day had she not made that comment. Story 8. She wife now. Pestered me over the internet until I agreed to go to local pier with her. At first I thought she was a catfish after something, cause she one contacted me first two was hot in the pictures. She showed me and three. Was insistent on meeting in person ASAP after only talking for a few days. All of this to be friends. At first, she, she only ever talked about wanting to find a friend. Story 9. Of the three major relationships. Ex-wife, through work hearing me randomly talk of X-Files and so garnered her interest. X-1, through a tiny friend group where she came to know of our shared love of all things geeky. X-2, via a gaming forum where I'd poured my heart out about how X-1 had screwed me over. She slid into the DMs. We were together for nine years. Now I've been single for four years and I'm convinced that's how it's seemingly going to remain as my introversion has possibly become impossibly introverted. Story 10. By absolute pure chance. It happened she didn't like the English teacher we had been assigned. Me neither. It was the first day we had classes there, but individually she had been our teacher before. And we both hadn't liked her style. So my, uh, no, GF was sitting behind me and without knowing me, told me, Sorry, would you help me to go to the principal's office to ask for a teacher's change? And I said, of course. Ha ha ha. That's how we met. Story 11. T Tinder. Her, her friends kept pushing her to find someone and convinced her to make a profile. I was just bored and horny. A apparently, I was the only guy she matched with who didn't immediately fetishize her race. She's Vietnamese. Send dick pics. And actually held a conversation with her without pushing for sex within the first few replies. We set up a date at the local barcade, and quickly discovered that we're basically the same person in two bodies. We've been together for five and a half years, 
have never once argued with each other, and are so in tune with each other that we practically read each other's minds on a regular basis. I've already got the ring picked out, and ring box. She loves frogs, so I'm going to swap the traditional velvet ring box out with a cute little frog ring box I found. It's just a matter of financially affording it. I lost my job last year and fell into poor health and have been out of work since. At the current rate, I'm not sure if I'm ever going to be able to afford to marry this woman. Story 12. I I'm a crafty guy. I'd regularly post my 3D prints and projects on Instagram. She reached out to hire me to make her some custom tools she wanted for her job, massage therapist. We knew of each other from high school though it had been about 10 years since. I determined the best way to make these custom tools would require molds of her thumbs to sculpt the tools around. She came over and we hit it off. IDK how, it was September 2020, I put on weight during lockdown. We were wearing masks. I was having difficulties with the silicone that I hadn't used before and I was nervous sweating like a lobster. We hung out a few more times while I was making them. Our third hangout, she brought her massage table over to work on a nasty knot in my back. We were both clearly smitten with each other, but I didn't want to ask her out while I was working for her. In fact, I never actually asked her out. After I gave her the tools, which were beautifully crafted, there was a moment where I felt she had set me up perfectly for a kiss. So I responded in kind and there were fireworks. We decided that would mark the start of us dating. One of the best nights of my life. I had been in a deep depression for several years beforehand, but she pulled me out of that deep pit, and I've never been more happy as I am right now. Frankly, today my boss was a real dick and I've been stewing a bit since I got off work, but writing this out has given me the perspective needed to feel better. I wouldn't trade our relationship for anything. Story 13 We were at a party around November. My group, full of extroverts, that adopted me, made me go after a long time of non-stopping telling me to go with them I accept. Now I'm not fond of going into parties or events like that, but what's I was supposed to do if they didn't stop annoying me to go? Okay, let's continue. And after 10 to 15 minutes of shyfully following them around the place, I sit in a nearby tree, and then I see her. One of the group saw the opportunity and made us present. It turns out she is also an introvert, and has the same history as why is she there, same friends and all. And after some minutes we lock eyes and we both made click at first sight. After that we both split from the group and went on our own adventure around. We literally spend the whole time together without leaving each other's side, not even for one moment. I never meet a person this perfect. I love her so much. She got me out of a dark time. Story 14 I saw her dancing her heart out in Spyro the Dragon onesie at a music festival and thought she was super cute and loved her energy. We caught each other's eyes and I said I loved her onesie. She lit up and said thanks. I brought extras. Do you want to borrow one? I said absolutely. So she brought me back to her friend's little camping area and handed me a Charmander onesie to use. We spent the rest of the weekend together, and we've been basically inseparable ever since. This was approximately eight years ago. We have a kid and pretty dope life together. She's super outgoing, energetic, a little loud, and chaotic, in an extremely charming way emo. I'm pretty chill, quiet, introspective, and grounded. We really round each other out in a beautiful way, and we very much appreciate one another for our differences. We're definitely a vibe. I love her dearly. Edit for all the weird introvert gatekeepers. I had a few drinks, I was on anxiety meds, and most importantly, I had been working on overcoming my social anxiety for a long ass time. It was an equally wonderful and deeply stressful experience. I was so far out of my comfort zone I could puke just thinking about it. I spent weeks amping myself up, and made my friends force me to go, and I still spent hours hiding in my tent in the woods. After we met, Things got easier because she was so f***ing chill and understanding of my shyness and discomfort. She is super confident and outgoing, so she took the lead on most socializing. We also basically f***ed off away from everyone, and spent the weekend almost entirely focused on one another. When we were alone, she very much took the lead on conversation, asked me a lot of questions because she wanted to get to know me, so that broke down my walls and made me very comfortable very quickly. I am extremely lucky. I'm also extremely thankful I did so much work pushing myself out of my comfort zone. Because after a few years of work, the payoff was meeting my best friend and love of my life. Introversion is a core of our being. Social anxiety is a problem that can be overcome. Y'all need self-love and therapy. Get out of your own way. Story 15 We met playing Modern Warfare 2 in 2010. We were on the trailer park map and I noticed how good of a player she was. 
Next map was Skid Row and I sent her a message randomly to shoot my shot. She answered back and we started playing more matches together. She was cracked at Halo 3 and had her four-shot BR down while I was running around in matches with her MLG wannabe friends doing total noob sh like getting cheap melee kills because I sucked. The, the next year, in 2011 we decided to meet finally and I did the first brave thing in my life and flew out to her. She could have been a serial killer trying to harvest my sweet sweet duodenum or something. Mind you. This was before Tinder and online relationships were still seen as sketchy. Luckily, she was gorgeous and we hit it off really quick. We spent the week together being a goofy 2021 year old couple who didn't know what the f they were doing. Her family were huge ass who were abusive towards her and on my last night there, they got really bad towards her. So at the last moment, we decided to bring her back home with me. We took a cab and he had nothing going on so he gave us a tour of downtown Chicago where we saw all the cool sights at night, which was neat. I barely had any money left, so I had to give him a ton of change that I had remaining. We stayed in a Greyhound station all night where my family bought her an extra ticket. We combined our luggage in a way where we didn't have to pay extra and found dog shit in her bag that was presumably put there by her little brother as a final middle finger. We got on the bus that morning and I fell asleep on her boob remembering seeing the Chicago skyline disappear into the distance. We woke up later in Indiana, and didn't have enough money for food really, so I bought her a burger at BK, and they gave me a free small soda, which was nice. Got back on the bus and passed out again. Woke up in Cleveland and waited for the last bus home. I spent my last change on a pack of grandma's peanut butter cookies to hold us over. We shared one cookie each, and to this day I'll still get some to share with her sometimes. When we arrived in Buffalo, my dad met up with us in his old car, and got us a big pizza from my old job. We've been inseparable ever since and are married and have kids now. She's still cracked at Halo 3 and will fuck you up. Life's good. Alright folks, that's a wrap. If you like more of this please hit a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You can also share your thoughts in the comment below. I'll see you in the next video.